When we consider motion just in one dimension along an axis, we don't have to worry too much about angles or triangles, but when we move to more than one dimension, then all of a sudden we need to remember a little bit of right triangle trigonometry. So the first thing we'll look at is the Pythagorean theorem. If we have a right triangle, the little box down in the corner means that's a right angle, 90 degrees, and we label this side A, this side B, and this side C, the Pythagorean theorem says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And the thing to remember is that C must be the hypotenuse in this equation. And the hypotenuse is the side of the triangle that's across from the right angle. Okay, so an example. Suppose we have this side of three centimeters, the hypotenuse is eight centimeters, and we want to find the missing side. So Pythagorean theorem would say x squared plus three centimeters squared equals eight centimeters squared. Notice that the hypotenuse eight is by itself on one side of the equation. Okay, well, uh, three centimeters squared would be nine square centimeters, and eight centimeters squared would be 64 square centimeters. And then we can subtract, and we get x squared equals 55 square centimeters. And then we can square root both sides, and we would get a positive and a negative answer, but we just want to take the positive value since we're talking about the length of the side of a triangle, and we get 7.42 centimeters. Next, I want to review a little bit more of right triangle trigonometry, in particular SOHCAHTOA. So SOHCAHTOA is a mnemonic device to help you remember uh, the different uh, trig functions, sine, cosine, and tangent. So I'm going to label an angle theta on my triangle. And I'll say that this side is A, this side is B, and this side is C. And so the sine of theta, the sine of that angle, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's what the OH in the SOHCAHTOA means. So if you look at this right here, we're looking at the first three letters here. The S is the sine, O is opposite, H is hypotenuse. And think of it as uh, opposite over hypotenuse. Some people write this as S, and then they write the O over the H to help you remember. And then people would write the C, and then the A over the H, and then the T of the O over the A to help you kind of remember the order that this goes in. Okay, so this is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Here's our angle. The opposite side, the side across from the angle, would be A, and the hypotenuse is C, so this would be A over C. Cosine of theta, that's A over H, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, and so if we look at our angle right here, the adjacent side, the side right next to it, would be B, and then the hypotenuse is still C, so this would be B over C. And the tangent of theta, that's O over A, that'd be opposite over adjacent, Opposite is A, adjacent is B, this should be A over B. Okay, so let's look at an example. Suppose our angle is 70 degrees, and suppose we know that the side down here is two meters, and we wanna find the side that's over here. So we look at SOHCAHTOA and we see, what do we have? Well, it looks like we have the opposite side, that's what we're looking for. If we look at our angle of 70 degrees, we see that this X here is opposite, and this two right here, that's adjacent. So it looks like we have opposite and adjacent. Tangent should be the way to go. The tangent of 70 would be opposite over adjacent, so that'd be x over two meters. And then we can multiply both sides by the two meters to get the x by itself. And then we have x equals two meters times the tangent of 70 degrees, which is 5.49 meters. Let's look at another example. So suppose this side down here is three kilometers and this side here, the hypotenuse is six kilometers and we wanna find the angle. So we look at SOHCAHTOA and we figure out what two sides do we know. So we have the adjacent and we have the hypotenuse here. And so the cosine is the thing we're gonna want and the cosine of that angle is three kilometers divided by six kilometers. Notice that I write the cosine of the angle you would never write cosine equals uh, three kilometers over six kilometers because you always need to have something that the cosine is acting on. So don't do that. You should always have uh, an angle or if you, if you know the number, you can actually put in the uh, degrees here. Okay, so cosine of theta is three kilometers over six kilometers, that's 0.5. And so theta then is the inverse cosine of 0.5. If you want to get theta by itself 
and it's inside of a trig function, we want to do the inverse trig function. So in this case, inverse cosine, and that's 60 degrees. 